Welcome to another Titanium Geek video. I'm Dave. What we're covering this week is about health. you're well and healthy but we'll cover more about that in a second because I just want to give a quick advert out to something we're doing on a Saturday morning live at 1015 GMT UST wherever you want to call it using the stereo app link down below we're interviewing really interesting people who are doing great things in indoor cycling and cycling in general and so you can ask questions and get involved and all that sort of stuff via the stereo app but what we'll also do is push the recordings up onto YouTube so you can tune in anytime from nine o'clock every Tuesday. So you can catch up on everything we've done when it suits you and when it's convenient to you, perhaps when you're doing your morning walk or whatever. So that's that bit. The other bit we're covering today is a device called Celsium. And this comes from a company whose journey is to make thermometers more accurate. And did we ever really think that much, unless you're a parent that much about thermometers until we had this pandemic remember for me it was just putting my hand on somebody's head and saying you feel hot cold or whatever anybody else in the house not agreeing with me then we all bought or most of us bought one of these things from uh, amazon or more reliable places and we'd measure our skin temperature now i don't know if you know this but the technology behind these things is about 300 years old even though it's put in a modern device and your skin temperature can be plus or minus two degrees out from what it should be because what it should be measuring is your core temperature so wouldn't it be absolutely amazing to measure your core temperature and at this very moment while i'm speaking to you i'm measuring my core temperature and as you can see here my core temperature is 35.4 degrees celsius for the americans you might have to convert that 35.4 so it seems like I'm good and healthy now why would you measure your temperature in that way if you've got a small child and you want to check to see if they're okay in the night and you know we all have those little things we stick on the foreheads and a little line goes across and stuff like that. it's not really good to disturb your son or daughter or more in the night uh, what you can do with the Celsius so these things retail for he says I made a fork these things retail for 70 pounds UK and they're fully warranted is this tiny little device and it measures as say your core temperature not your skin temperature and it's 10 times more accurate than other devices so this is medical grade it comes with a pack of stickers you get it you press your foot, finger on the back to activate it you stick it on one of these stickers i'm just for the sake of the environment this is not really brilliant for the sake of the environment i'm i'm just doing this you put it in the hollow of your arm um, and then you can measure temperature via your smart device like an iOS iPhone like this. Taking you through the features of the app, what, first of all, what I really like about the app is you don't have to subscribe to it. It actually does my head in when you get some new device, Stages Bike Computer, for example, and you have to subscribe to some app to get the full features out of it. You know, how many apps do we have to subscribe to? Don't get me on that rant, it really does my head in. The lovely thing about Celsius is the app um, is free, unlimited use. So you pay 70 quid for your device, you get a pack of sticky stuff, and you can get uh, additional ones from those from the Celsius website. Uh, but what you can do is you, on the app, you can see straight away your temperature. It measures your temperature over a 24 hour period, or the person you're measuring, for example, um, one of your children in your family, somebody else in the family. It's telling me at the moment that my temperature is roughly 35.4 degrees. I can go in a graph and the graph shows over uh, the last hour what my temperature is. If I've taken medicines, I can record those in the app. So what I can do is you can keep details of any med medicine you're taking. So for example, people who've got specific medical issues that may or may not affect their temperature, they can put that in there. And that's it, it's as simple as that. Easy, easy as pie. I use this. I, I use this device uh, just to make sure, for the benefit of you, um, out through the night, slept in it, rolled over, all that sort of stuff. Didn't notice it. And you go up in the morning, switch your iPhone on, and you can see what's happened to your temperature. And that's it, really. 
So I think interesting one I was listening to the podcast, one of the leading world's leading sports physiologists recently, and he was saying we shouldn't train deep at the moment because it's a pandemic. So train for fitness rather than you know elite performance or all our versions of elite performance. Uh, and it does make you think perhaps we should be monitoring uh, our health in a different way. I know a lot of us use heart rate monitors for doing that. We wake up in the morning, re- checking resting heart rate. So why not check your temperature as well? So being able to check your core temperature and not a thereabouts temperature by measuring your skin temperature, it's going to be good. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you start enjoying the podcast. Please leave comments down below. So what do you think? Is this something you'll add to your kit bag? Right on. Bye now.